Hello and welcome to another movie studio tutorial and today we're going to talk a little bit more about media generators. It's such a big subject there's so many things you can do with it and I thought we should expand on that a little bit. We have our uh, clip here of the US Capitol with our title graphic and what would happen if we put a media generator clip in between our title track and the U.S. Capitol, what would happen? Well, let's try this one right here. We've got the elliptical transparent to black. And once again, this is found in media generators. So let's drag that down in between the two clips. Now, you notice what happens here. A nice kind of dark frame around our U.S. Capitol uh, video here. And that kind of it looks like a nice effect. That would be a very nice uh, effect for a, a video that you're doing on the government, for instance. Let's get rid of that one and try a different one to see what that would look like. We have a linear white to black. What would that do? Well, that completely blocks it out, but we can adjust the opacity, remember that, by going down like this. That's kind of a different effect. Let's get rid of that one. And these things you're just going to have to play around, and that's one of the fun things about it is try different approaches. We can try this one here. That's uh, an idea. We can adjust the size of it, or the location of it, actually. Adjust that down there. We can adjust the size by using the pan crop control. Let's try that out and see, make it smaller by dragging it out and then positioning it right where we want. Let's make that just a little bit bigger. There we go. That's not quite right either. Like I say, you need to, you have to just experiment with these things and get them exactly the way you want. Trial and error type thing. How does it look like? We still have to go a little bit bigger. So I need to zoom out again. And then I'm going to zoom in to make it bigger. Like that. And now I can position it just a little bit better, I think, there. There we go. That's good enough for right now. And then if we go back and we right-click on our uh, generator clip here, we can edit generated media up here. And we can adjust the color as well. This is adjusting the top color. Move it down to completely transparent. Can we adjust the bottom color? Yes, we can. So you can see we can adjust all kinds of different variations of colors on that one. So this will give you an idea on all the effects that you can use. We have different types of them. We also have some text generators up here that will give you some options there. And uh, we have, let's see, some solid color ones, noise texture. Now uh, we get some very weird effects when we sometimes combine these things like this. Let's try this one. And if we adjust the opacity on that, bring it down. I don't know what that would uh, represent for our government, but uh, that gives you a different idea. Now, one thing you can do with a title that's kind of cool. I have a clip here of a fireplace. Let's drag that down here. And all we have, of course, is a picture of a fireplace in front of our capital. I'm going to change the aspect ratio as we talked about in earlier episodes. We're going to match the output so it fills up the entire screen. Now what happens if we go up here on our top clip where our title is and we go to the compositing mode and we do multiply mask? You see what happens? Now everything is black and we have a nice U.S. capital with fire behind it. And that gives another nice effect that you could use for your titles. And we can adjust the opacity of that. As you can see, there are all different effects that we can use by using the uh, media generators. That gives you some ideas, again, of what you can use and what you can do with your media generators and Vegas Movie Studio.